Oh, hello there. Welcome to Bent Tech Delta 8. Um, caught me enjoying a delectable glass of tap water, who happens to be our sponsor. So, hello. Uh, this is the intro. This is the intro to the uh, Python Fundamentals course I decided to put together. Uh, after a couple of years of teaching this, I decided to uh, do a Fundamentals for, for everybody. Put it out there. See how it goes. So the deal, uh, Python, why Python? You're going to hear about uh, why not Python, Python slow. Um, well, we're going to make some delineations of what slow and fast is, right? Um, well, compared to low-level low languages uh, like C and things like that, yeah, Python's a little slow. Sure. It's an interpreted language. What does that mean? We'll get into that later on. <clears throat> the important thing is here is that you're here with me, Zach. So here's the fun part about this. Uh, I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos about scripting and Python fundamentals. It's, I'm not calling it programming. I'm not diving into how to develop a great program right now. Can Python scripts be programs? Of course. What's the difference between a program and scripts? Well, scripts usually have to be interpreted. And we'll get into that, like I said later. Uh, why Python? Well, it's portable. It's everywhere. Could be ran on a multitude of different machines, different operating systems, embedded systems. It's portable. It's easy. It's flexible. It's a mild, relatively mild learning curve and um, entry gateway. It's a gateway drug. Um, what do I mean by that? You can start using Python or this type of language, and then as you progress with your skill sets, migrate over to a different type of language, or stick with Python. It doesn't doesn't matter. You know, why do I use Python? Well, I use it to get things done and what I do. So what do I do? Well, cybersecurity. Um, you know, your Cali folks, all your different uh, Linux derivative folks, you know, Python's usually embedded into that OS, one flavor or another, and is there. It's there by default. You could use it, rock and roll with it out of the gate. Um, so that's part of why I leverage Python. Um, usability, readability. Uh, I could write a script add a couple help functions to it, pass it off to someone, and they could read it. So if they need to change it or augment it to better fit their situation, perfect. It's it's easy to read. Um, but all that comes in time, short amount of time usually. Fundamentals, I'm trying to make these videos really short, really clear, really concise. Focus on individual ideas of what makes up Python so you can get to work. So what does get to work mean? Well, you could take these concepts of fundamentals of Python, and you could run with it to, to automate something for your day-to-day -day office tasks, your work, your hobby, whatever it is. Um, and then you'll see how these concepts and, and ideas of looping and things like that can move over to different languages and be awesome. But for the most part, we're going to focus on uh, fundamentals of Python, right? So here we go. Here's what we're going to cover. A little bit of the intro. I already ran through all that. And now, where to get it. Go to the source, python.org. Read about the history of Python, how it's controlled. There's a beautiful community, uh, docs.python.org right here. Best place to go if you're, if you're learning. Um, you'll see that I'll put a lot of different links down in the bottom of these videos uh, on Python docs re uh, reflecting the topics that we covered and it's just uh, hopefully this is an enjoyable experience for you as it is for me. Um, but the fundamentals, you know, you got to start somewhere. A lot of people start wherever they see fit, whatever video they jump in. That's fine. If you have prior experience, jump around through this set, have a blast with it. Um, I'm going to try to name them and title them so you could just go to a specific thing if you want clarity on that. Uh, you know, but you don't have to watch them in a row. Learning is not linear. I'm going to say that a lot throughout these. Learning is not linear. It's not like reading a book top to bottom or left to right or whatever country and right to left or you know bottom up, whatever. It's not linear. It's not a straight line. You can learn in by different facets from different people, from different media, really relatively quickly from all over nowadays. But the key is putting it together. Create a good base of knowledge, of fundamentals of knowledge, and kick a whole bunch of butt. So here... Head to python.org. If uh, Python is already installed in your distro or your operating system, grab it, download Windows, Mac, other platforms. Select the one that's right for you. Follow the installation prompts. 
you know, if you're unsure, take all the defaults. It, it'll be fine. It won't hurt, right? And then, uh, in our next video, we'll go into the deep dive of Python. Um, you probably have Idle installed. I'm just going to use Idle for the first couple of videos. I'm not going to jump into like Linux, uh, like VI, Nano, Vim, or PyCharm or uh, any different types of editors. We will throughout this course, but you'll see me stick with what comes with the Python install on Windows, and it's usually idle. And uh, I'm going to live in this joker, and uh, we'll have a lot of time, fun time. Um, other than that, I'm going to end this video, call it a day. This is long enough for uh, for any introduction, I believe. Once again, Thanks for accompanying me on this journey. Bent Tech, Delta 8, out.